All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. This is the Knives Fast channel, and if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button right there and the notification bell and stick around. We have lots of fun, guys. But first, before we get into this unboxing, say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man of Login TV, and we're going to get started. So this is a box that comes uh, from another reviewer, I believe, that I don't recognize, but that's all good. Um, and to be honest with you, it came and I thought it was a Hank based on where it was coming from. So I opened it up because I'm expecting a few Hanks uh, and it's not. It's two knives and they're actually already sitting right here and I've already opened the package. So this is a little awkward, but I still called it an unboxing. Uh, but these are uh, from Brian Nadu, Sharp by Design, guys. He asked... A while back, uh, it, reviewers, if anybody would like to check these out, and I said, oh, heck yeah. So uh, these are the new uh, mini Evos. Uh, I have never, this will be the first Sharp Duck by Design knife I've gotten to see, or the first two. Um, I've never had one of his knives in or bought one or anything like that. So this would be pretty awesome. So the Evo uh, full-size one was always one I was very interested in. Um, and just never got a hold of and so it is very cool to check these out. So thank you, Brian Very very much. So a uh, really cool box with the cutout for the knife I should show you that uh, before I get it out. So there you go knife in the cutout. Very very cool uh, Let's put this back together and put this off to the side now. This is uh, one of two of these that he sent uh, This is uh, my carta. I believe look at that very beautiful very nice. Now, it is very smooth and contoured. Very, very, man, this is excellent. Now, these are made by Riot in China. Uh, my understanding is that uh, Brian has ordered these, and some of them came in, but not all of them. So he's taking the opportunity of the delay, because of Chinese New Year, uh, to send these out to reviewers uh, to check out. So that's awesome that I got to get on that list. Let me back my light up here so the... Focus works a little better. Come on, Focus, you got this. Seriously? You know you got this. All right, well, uh, let me come out here. All right, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. And you can see it's shiny. Uh, you know, there's still a good grip to this. Uh, no problem whatsoever in that regard. Man, Focus, you are absolutely killing me. There we go. Thank you. All right. Just had to make it happy. So you got this beautiful pivot, guys. I really love. Um, it's kind of a six-shooter looking pivot there on this side. And then you have tooling on this side, but the same thing. You got the Brian Nadu, the BN there on the flipper tab. Beautiful uh, clip there. Very, very nicely done. Uh, there are, and by the way, this is not a review. This is just an unboxing and some first impressions. There are no seams on that man. That is so beautiful on that inlay. So well done. Contoured scales, as I said. Now, uh, I thought for a second when I first opened it, this looked like an integral, but you can see a little split right there. So it is, but the backspacer is integral. It is just in, in, in a piece like that and put together but man again can't feel that seam perfectly done you have a hidden lanyard post there and i love this texturing back here uh just gives it a great look now uh you have uh -huh, come on focus you're doing it again all right there we go get that hand out of the way it seems to help um and so you got this beautiful hole up here we'll see in a minute if i can flick from that it doesn't look like i can you have uh, beautiful. I mean, the hardware is just gorgeous. Everything is beautiful. All right, we're going to hit this flipper tab. Now, the flipper tab has a really nice shape to it here. Oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. It just pops right open. You got a really, really nice sharpening choil with great edge relief there. Fuller up through here. Nice hole. Beautiful drop point blade. All right, so this is the mini. So let's see how it fits in my hand. Guys, I got a four-finger grip on a mini. Nowhere to choke up. Really interesting flipper tab. It acts like a guard um, and kind of has this really unique shape to it. Love it, love it. 
Great jimping all the way up to here. Um, not out here, but that's fine. That's about where I would land right there, and I'm on the jimping. Beautiful thin blade. Uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, that is... Okay, we're going to have to do the ruler trick because I am not sure if that is flat or hollow. So we'll do this real quick. I'm going to do it off camera here just because it's easier. It is hollow, I believe. Man, it is super hard to tell. Yeah, it's hollow. Feeling it, you can, you can feel it is hollow. Uh, but it's just a very shallow hollow, which is fine for this knife. Nice, high grind. Just, I love the style. Look at the style of that fuller, guys. Let's see, can I flick it? Oh, come on, KC. Nope. Can't get in there, almost. Uh, but the flipper tab is beautiful. It just pops right out. The action is fantastic. So let's check out the second one now. If I remember correctly, uh, this may be a different blade shape. So let's see what we got here again. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, carbon fiber there in the package as you can see let's get this put back together because I like having his logo up there for you guys to see the sharp by design very very grateful to get to check these out Brian thank you so much my friend uh, very cool now this carbon fiber is beautiful it's like a um, almost like an end cut I think it is in cut I'm not sure but look at that pattern that is amazingly cool and uh, really, really digging that. Now, same flipper tab on this one. Uh, same everything, as a matter of fact. Hardware is the same. You can see, oh, by the way, didn't talk about the over travel stop there. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. I'm sorry. Before we look at the blade, uh, you actually have a little uh, piece sticking up. That's ingenious. That is great. So for your lock bar, guys... Uh, you don't have a cutout here like some of us do. You have a piece that sticks up. So when you travel, oh, that's brilliant, Brian. Uh, I like that. Now, that may have been on some of his other knives, guys, but this is the first one I've gotten to see in person. I really dig that. That is nice. Yeah, you don't really feel that in the grip. Uh, I would think you would, but you don't. You see how it sticks up a little bit? Very, very excellent. I like that. Now, this is, as you can see... A Tanto, a compound ground Tanto. Yep, you have hollow here. You can see that much more clearly now. And you have a flat grind here. Oh, man, that is, look at that grind. And the finish work by Riot, guys, just look at that. And on the other one, let's do the same thing. Absolutely beautiful. Just gorgeous. Uh, beautiful, beautiful knives, Brian. Um, thank you. Oh, you. Now, on this one... All right, so let's hold them both up. On this one, you just have kind of a straight drop point going on here. And on this one, you have a wicked looking harpoon going on. Come on, up there at the top. Look at that. That is cool. Now, you can get up there and get into that if you want. You, like I said, your, your natural grip, at least for me, is right on the corner of that jimping. Um, and then you can come up here and that feels really good for this kind of cut. Now, I will say, guys... Um, we don't do weight um, during an unboxing, but with this carbon fiber, this guy is very light. Um, and as is this one, even with the micarta, I think it might be slightly more, uh, but barely. This, this is unbelievably lightweight and very, very cool. So I am impressed and very excited that I get to check these out and uh, then send them on to the next guy. Uh, by the way, well, okay, so that is really cool. The piece that sticks up appears to be a steel insert. And that's, so not only is that your little tab for grabbing a hold of, it is your lock bar insert. So that, yeah, that's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Uh, very, very cool. So again, some of you may be saying to the camera, you dummy, he does that in all his knives. And, and Brian, you may even be saying that. I do it in all my knives. <laughs> but these are the first ones I've seen. So my apologies for being the noob in town here. Uh, but that is super cool. Again, action is going to be fantastic. It's Riot. Just so smooth. And I love the pocket clips. Very, very nicely done. 
Uh, let's put this this way because, like I said, I want to show. Now, I, I did not on this one. We're going a little long here on this unboxing, so I'll get it done. Uh, now, you, you cannot, man, can't feel the transitions. They are so smooth. So there you go, guys. We'll leave them like that. There is the Sharp by Design Mini Evos coming into the channel. Hello. Very excited. These will be, uh, you know, headed for review very shortly here. And if Brian gives me an update on when these will be available, I will definitely let you know. Um, I think it should be fairly, fairly shortly uh, that these will be available. And I am pretty impressed. Uh, and when you say Mini, I'm still liking the size, but it really makes me want to check out the large one as well. Uh, but these are a great size for EDC. Very, very good. So there you go, guys. Sharp by Design Mini Evos. Two of those on the way in here. I was trying to get them where you could see the logo there. We'll do it that way. And uh, just really cool. And guys, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. Sorry this went a little longer, but it is two knives. And thank you so much uh, for watching the Knives Fast channel.